someone in your zip code is struggling with poverty that you might not know about. This is a nationwide problem. Every day, we are serving women who are struggling with homelessness. Some bring dependent age children into the mission with them. They live here working to get on their feet. This is where people come when they have no other place to go. We were homeless sleeping in our car for approximately a year. A year. We had nowhere to go. Had we not came to Friendship Mission, I hate to think what my life would be. This mission is supported by a lot of love from our local community. We have partnerships that we've built, like Subaru. It gets cold everywhere in the country. I, if I saw a child without a coat on during the winter months, you know, it would be heartbreaking. And speaking to Tara and her team, a lot of children may not have that resource. If we're able to provide that for them, it could be a huge difference in their lives. For Subaru Loves to Help, we were given an opportunity to get involved with the Operation Warm program, which was new to us. And then after finding out what they do and what they're about, it was like, this is something we definitely want to be a part of. We're very fortunate here to have a great team that goes above and beyond for the community. Operation Warm is a nonprofit organization. Our mission is to provide children in underserved communities the gift of warmth, confidence, and hope. Being able to team up with Subaru and having 600 plus Subaru retailers across the country who want to activate within miles of their retail store really makes a difference in those communities for the children who need it the most when they need it the most. I grew up in the projects. We didn't have a lot. The opportunity to give a coat, some shoes, a pair of socks. That's an opportunity, especially for me, to give to somebody something that I would have wanted or not even just wanted, would have needed at the time. Subaru and our retailers across the country are visiting shelters and organizations to provide new coats, shoes, and socks children need and often go without. It's all part of our commitment to improving the lives in the communities where we live and work. We call it the Subaru Love Promise, and we're proud to help children in urgent need this year as the largest automotive donor to Operation Warm. When a child arrives at a gifting event, they see a spread of coats, shoes, and socks in front of them, and they get to pick exactly what they want, and they walk out of the room feeling better than when they came in. Smile. You got a big smile. You just so cute. You look so handsome. It was very emotional. I'm always thankful and grateful to get anything, even if it's a hand-me-down, but to know that my kids can wake up in the morning and go to school with brand new jackets on, brand new shoes, and also socks. It took a lot of pressure and burden off of me. A new coat is last on the agenda when you're trying to put food on the table. When I came in, I felt nothing but love from Subaru. It was a great feeling. Charity is one of the most important things that you can do, not only as an individual, but as a company. For a Subaru retailer to give back, it makes a difference in that community through the Subaru Love Promise, you're reaching people that one person might not be able to reach. The Subaru Love Promise is really about making those connections with people, making a difference to help the community around you. The gifting event went far beyond just a coat and socks and shoes. It spoke to the emotional input and Subaru being a stakeholder in our community. Partnerships and community support, that's what keeps us going. To be a part of this today and be able to put those jackets on those children, I couldn't help but think of my mother. My mom is one of 15 children and the stories from her talking about how she didn't have shoes and she didn't have jackets and if one of her siblings did have one, the other sibling would take it 
and how hard it was on her. What an extremely heartwarming blessing it would have been to have this program when she was a child. And to be here and know that I could be a part of this makes my heart grow in ways I thought it never could. And it's something I will never forget.